Finally, let's go flying. A 2 2 one for Yankee is a farting runway five. And this will be a straight out departure of Zephyr So I have one question for you. What are you going to do with your flying? All right, heels on the ground. Let's get on the center line after all that talk of being a polished commercial pilot there. On the center line, airspeed, both are active. 51, 52. 60, 65, rotate, tap the brakes, and a uh, little yellow racer, if you can get out, uh, we're pretty slow. And right good climb up, so everything right looks good, all here, engines so are in the green, five, all engine indicators now, are in the green. So recently I got a call from a friend of mine, I guess we can call her a former YouTuber, and as we were catching up on flying and life, she made this comment, I am tired of general aviation. And I thought about it for a second, and I actually agreed. Now, she had moved on from general aviation, getting her instrument, her commercial, and then her multi-engine commercial, and her multi-engine instrument, and she ended up getting a job flying jets. And she's around the same age range as us. I have to be careful with that. And as she was telling me the joys of moving past general aviation, as well as some of the challenges, I completely knew what she was talking about. Now, when I got into flying, when I started this channel way back when, I instantly knew that I wanted to go all the way, getting my commercial and then actually doing something with it. I didn't know what, but I knew I wanted to do something with it. And in 2021, I started the nonprofit Invisible Angels and I became a 135 pilot and an entire 135 operator. And as you guys know and can see, this has been amazingly and tremendously fulfilling for me. And it has actually opened up a whole new aspect of my life that I never even thought would be possible. And today, as I enter my 60s, I can't tell you how much this has changed my life for the better, giving me more purpose than I've ever had before. And to be honest, guys, I feel like I'm 25, just entering the workforce again, except now I have a tremendous amount of wisdom and life experience, all demonstrated by my gray hair. So my question to you is, what are you going to do with your flying? Even if you're just starting out and you're over 50, there's so much you can do with it. Now, there is nothing wrong with getting your private pilot's license, buying an airplane, and getting into an airplane partnership, and enjoying general aviation by visiting lots of new places, expanding your travel horizons, and giving you the freedom to go where you wanna go when you wanna go. But I do have to tell you that even after 50, the possibility does exist that you can get your commercial rating, get your multi-engine commercial rating, and get a job flying. I have actually heard from a whole bunch of people who are flying in their 50s and who are now working commercial pilots, and some are even at FedEx, and some are at smaller 135s, and it has absolutely transformed their lives, and it can transform yours. So basically, my question to you is, what are you going to do with your flying? My first thought is, after you get your private pilot certificate, you should get a couple hundred hours as a VFR pilot just to get that experience. And then you should definitely get your instrument rating. Getting your instrument rating will make you a better, safer pilot. And now remember, your instrument rating does not give you a license to make bad decisions, like flying in bad weather. However, your instrument rating will give you the confidence and the ability to avoid bad weather. And that will make you a safer pilot because it will improve your aeronautical decision making, which is key to being a safe pilot. Remember, I have, I have made more decisions not to go flying than I have to go flying. And even with Invisible Angels and the 135, our very first uh, re recovery mission in Invisible Angels, I canceled it because of bad weather. And I am so proud of that because aeronautical decision making is still key. So my question to you is, what do you want to do with your flying? Where do you want to take it? Make that decision because whether it's just to stop at your instrument rating or go all the way through to your multi-engine commercial, it is possible to get a job and change your life by flying, getting a flying job in your 50s. It is all still possible. So, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And remember, if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.